just shows that we do get sunshine in Candle. And what better thing to do when you're in lockdown than do a video for the new Morris Federation chairman. Thanks so much, Paulie. I haven't done the sailor's form pipe for a few years, something to do with a hernia and a couple of hips, so it is a bit ropey. But the video clips are some speaking ones which give the history, why I wanted to do it, where I got help from and where I, we actually can get to dance it. There's then the full dance, six short instructional clips with a bit more detail and finally the full dance again with uh, calling through it so you know which figures are coming so you can actually hopefully dance along to it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I have to do the full dance. Slight difficulty at the beginning is because the little bit of the music at the start is chopped off and by the time I've turned it on and got back I'll have missed the first couple of steps but that will become apparent in the dance itself. Figures one and figure two, both the same. Dance the decking, first to the right with a right foot break, second to the left with a left foot break. Step is a hop flick, and the break at the end is step forward, step back, brush, step, step, hop, hook, place. And off the left, it's stepped forward, step back, brush with the left, step, hop, place and the place is basically fifth position. Figure three, room rations, and figure four, hall. Room rations, basically I think what it looks like is when you've had the room afterwards. And the hall is what you would expect, it's a low hall. The room rations has a step, 
that is a toe, heel, toe, move sideways, then the other foot, toe, heel, toe, sideways, three of those, and a left foot break. And the haul is spring low and back, low and back, and then twice as many in the same time. So forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Hands like this, well, because the sailors were dirty. Their hands were covered in tar. So this was to keep as much clean as possible. Okay, rum rations. five is shuffles, fine for clock dancers. You've got double shuffles twice, four singles, and then four where there's no hop between them. And then into rigging, archetypal what you expect in a sailor's hop. Like you need to look as though you are going up the rigging, so your face is not forward, you're looking up at the rigging. There isn't a break at the end, but there is a twist, 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 twist it off so it is a sort of Figure seven, which is rocks, is supposed to symbolise the boat into rough, initially rough seas wobbling around. You've got the wavy rocky bits, then some forward motion, a repeat of the wobbly bit, only half the forward rocks, and then a right footed standard break. It takes both the A and the B music. Inspiration for learning it was thanks to an EFTAS Northwest Area gathering with the counties of Lancashire, Cheshire, Mersey and Deeside, Lakes and Furness in Jolly Town Hall. Splendid, splendid building with glorious big hall. And at one stage in the afternoon, the lights in the hall were just turned off in darkness. And a musician on concertina, I think, started to play. It could even have been Steve Hotchkiss, possibly, from Alberio. And a spotlight was turned on, pointed at one side of the stage. And this young man danced out into the hall. And it was absolutely brilliant. He performed the most spellbinding and exuberant dance. It was totally incredible. He covered loads of ground and space, owned the whole floor, and projected immense enjoyment of everything that he did. That dancer was called Tony Mannion, and evidently his mother used to run a dance studio in the south of Manchester uh, Stockport area, and had taught him the dance. And years later, I met with him, and we had a chat about this, and he sent me reams of notations on, because I was interested in what I'd seen. And this coincided with me realising that my dad had fought in the Second World War. He'd been on destroyers, um, done one of a few Arctic convoys. And then my sister had a diary from my mother's side. I mean, my mother was East End of London, through and through. But one of her antecedents, great 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 grandfather had been um, a mate on a ship 
that used to do the run out to Madeira for sugar. And in the diary there are two highlights. There's one where they set off and they got along the south coast of England before heading across the channel. Uh, mate fell out of the rigging and broke a leg. So they had to sail back to London, go back into port, leave him to go off to a hospital. They got to Madeira, they did all the loading and the captain and his sister, yeah if you believe that, went ashore. They missed the following day when they were supposed to sail and they turned up two days later, possibly the worst for the wear for drink. So it gave me the justification to think that I've got some family history on both sides of my family connected with the sea. So that's why I do it. Figures 9 and 10. Figure 9 is unrolling a reel of rope, so giving rope, three diagonals, and then a break, which is a shuffle on the left, to land together, spring both feet in the air with your legs as far as apart as your legs will go comfortably and trying to flick the feet out at the side followed by lookout which is a sideways motion to the right side step which is right behind right hop and look left behind left hook right behind right and hop left behind left and hop and you finish at the left, which is absolutely deliberate because the following figure starts from the left hand side. Final two figures, 11 and 12. 11 is coiling, so you run and coil, and it's three circles. That was diagonally right, diagonally left, diagonally right, diagonally left, no break. And figure 12 is dance the decking just how we started, to the right, with a slight finish at the end on the break, where you get the step forward step back, stand, land, and instead of stepping into the fifth position, you spring and a navy salute because you're shielding your eyes from the sun as against an army salute. So a navy salute shielding the eyes. So where do you get the chance to do this dance? Where do you get to show your skill at the Sailor's Hornpipe? Well, I started off by sorting out a kit. So I've got a um, stripy t-shirt, neckerchief, white breeches, then Morris breeches, and I still fit in them from Kendall Morris men days. I used to dance, always would choose to dance barefoot. Um, and I've got quite a few memories. If Diff in 1994 was in Manchester asked to do a workshop on the hornpipe. So I turned up, lots of people from the previous workshop came to the time, walked into the middle of the hall and said, if you'd like to, if you've come to learn a sailor's hornpipe, would you like to stand up now? And a hundred plus, 120-ish people stood up and I sort of choked for a second or two. It was fine. It was lovely to see so many people having a go at it and a particular lad whose great-grandfather, grandfather and father had all been in the Royal Navy and talked about the hornpipe. He's always wanted to learn it. He was so made up at the end of the workshop that he'd gone away with the dance. 
in 2009 I was at Sidmouth with a dance uh, musician friend, Ben Farmer, and I contacted Chris and Tracy Rose and said, uh, would this be suitable to enter into the jig competition? Because I use it for the same reason as a, a break between other things to show off a skill and to challenge other dancers. They said yes. So we turned up at the Manor Pavilion where the John Gasson jig happened in those days. Um, Ben's a supreme musician. Uh, I didn't make any mistakes. And during the dance, Ben joined in with some of the dance movements and I had no idea he was going to do that, which was went down with, very well with the audience and helped our rapport with each other. And at the end of that, we won the audience uh, entertainment category which was wonderful and we were very happy with that but then we did get surprised because we came joint second in the overall competition really good memory so that and at Cayley's and sometimes at parties and even at folk clubs I mean somebody plays that tune that college hornpipe take my shoes off roll my trousers up and do the dance This is the final video clip of everything on this. This is the whole dance. Music as the first time. There's no way I'm going to get the first couple of steps in on the first dance of the deck. I'm trying to call this as we go. And I'm only aware of one other person dancing a sailor's hornpipe. It's a guy down on the south coast, lives in South Sea, called Simon Harmer. Um, superb step dancer and his sailor's hornpipe is totally different very different style with a lot of stamping and, uh, and slap slapping and if you go onto his Facebook page Simon Harmer he posted this back in November last year so first figure is dance the decking to the right with a right foot break Breaking. Dance the decking, final time. 